Hi, my name is Lee Isaac Chung, and I'm the writer director of Minari. So, this is a scene that happens at the very beginning of the film as the family pulls up onto a plot of land and they find this trailer home sitting there. The first person who we see getting out of a vehicle is Stephen Yun, who plays Jacob. And I filmed that wanting to evoke the feeling of a man getting off of his horse. We see coming out of the station wagon, Monica, played by Han Yeri. And then coming out of the back of the station wagon are the two kids. There's Anne, played by Noel K. Cho, and David, played by Alan Kim. So we start off the scene with three different perspectives. That was the unique challenge of this scene. Start off with the father, start off with the mother, and then you see the kids' perspectives. And each of them has a very different take on what this new place is. Jacob sees it as a place of opportunity. You know, he looks at the land, he's, he's thrilled with this new place of promise. Monica sees something that she had not signed up for. She didn't know that she was going to have to come here. She sees a house without stairs, uh, a house in the middle of nowhere. And the kids, they're just having fun. They see a house on wheels. So th this was my way of trying to start off the film with three different unique perspectives. And to me, that's what a family is. A family has different perspectives and somehow they converge in a very funny way. Once we got into the field, we were all pretty aligned on the way that uh, everybody should be approaching this new land. Um, Jacob sees it for all its magic and he's very excited. Steven was so good at showing his perspective of how much he loves this place, how much he sees the potential in it, you know. When I was writing this scene, I just loved that Jacob bends down, digs his hands into the dirt and says, look at the color. And that was a moment that um, just came to me as I was writing the script and I felt this joy for him. Um, I, I just felt like a deep sympathy for him as well. With the direction that I gave Yeti as she plays Monica, I basically told her, most of the time, there's not going to be dialogue in, uh, for what she has to deliver. Everything that she has to convey has to be through her looks, her expressions, her gestures. And I told her everything that she does has to be very subtle. Garden of Eden is big. With the two kids, I just told them to go out and have fun. We didn't want what they were doing to feel staged, but to always feel as though we're, we're capturing them as children. <laughs> 